Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our study of classification. During the last lesson, we discussed the taxonomic units whereby we saw the hierarchy of the taxonomic units starting from the kingdom all the way up to uh, species. So we want us to get into more details and look at uh, what is a kingdom. And we can see that uh, this is the largest taxonomic unit consisting of the highest number of organisms. Uh, in taxonomy, there are five kingdoms. There are five kingdoms. of taxonomy and these are one we have kingdom monera and this one we have the bacteria the various types of bacteria are in the kingdom Monera. The second kingdom is kingdom Protoctista. And in this kingdom we have Protozoa and Algae. Number three, we have kingdom fungi and here we have the different types of fungi e.g. the molds, the yeast, the mushrooms, all those are examples of fungi. Then number four we have kingdom plantae and when you are writing monera protoctista the first letter should be capital plantae we have the various types of plants here all types of plants that we have and then finally we have kingdom Animalia. And that's where we have the animals. The different types of animals, whether they are vertebrates or they are invertebrates, they are whichever the category, all of them belong to that particular. So we are saying that the kingdom is the largest taxonomic unit and it has the highest number of organisms. Basically, there are those five kingdoms that we have, we have just seen. Uh, the other thing worth noting is that uh, members of the same kingdom do not share very many characteristics between them. So we can say that uh, members of the same kingdom have fewer similarities in characteristics and hence the need to go to the next level. So the next unit of uh, taxonomy after the kingdom, this one is the phylum. Uh, or we use the word division that is in plants. 
So phylum is used in all the other kingdoms, but in kingdom plantae, we use the word division. So this is the second second taxonomic unit consisting of organisms with slightly more similarities. Slightly more similarity. So for the phylum, they share a little bit more in common, but uh, as opposed to the kingdom, whereby they have very few uh, that uh, they share in common. Then from here, we go to class. And we have uh, uh, members of the same class. Have many, or you can say they have uh, relatively more similarities. than the phylum. Then from here we go to family. And at the family level also more characteristics are shared. Sorry, this one or more that we've skipped. We have skipped the class to the order. And organisms tend to have similar feeding habits then number 5 we have family and also this one more characteristics are shared beyond those shared at order level. So as we move on, they are sharing more and more characteristics. We have genus. These ones are organisms that are related and share many characteristics. And then finally we have the species. And this one we say that members of the same species can naturally interbreed. To produce a viable or a fertile offspring.
that that is r of the same kind so we say that a species is made up of members who can naturally interbreed to produce a viable or a fertile offspring so if two organisms cannot interbreed to produce a viable offspring then it means that they are not of the same species so our assignment So the first question, define a species, which we have talked about. Number two, name the five kingdoms of taxonomy and give an example of each. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.